how in the world do you get this fat yarn into this skinny little hole? Fold your yarn in half, put your needle in, and then pull it up tight, and it kind of makes a crease in the yarn, like this. So you have this little bump, and then you can just take your needle and, and sort of wiggle the eye down over the crease of the yarn, pinch it at the top, and slide it through. So that's how I, that's how I normally, can't see my face when I do that. That's how I normally put yarn through a hole, but this little needle was so skinny that there was no way, no way that was gonna go through. So what do you do? So this morning I made an emergency run to the Dollar Tree. Y'all know I love them. Check out my Dollar Tree video. And I was hoping that they had, I know you've seen them, they're like little loops of plastic floss, but they didn't have those. But they did have regular floss, which yes, we have regular floss at home, but then I might not have a pretty one to show you guys. So anyway, so here's the floss and I'm just gonna cut off a length of it. Now, I'm gonna take my two ends of my floss together, or one at a time, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna thread those through the hole on the eye of the needle. See, those went through just fine. Because these are waxed, it helped even more, because it made them a little bit, you can see they're a little stiff. Now, all I have to do is drop the yarn down the hole that I made in the in the floss. So I looped into my loop. So then I'm gonna pull on the floss and it does require a little tug. Hold on. My grandmother would say you had to hold your tongue just right to do it. Uh, but as I popped it all the way through and you could hear the noise. That's because it was so tight getting it in. But there. Threaded needle. So if you're ever if you're ever stuck, dental floss.